Well, the China Roads and Bridge Company, the Chinese company operating the standard gauge railways on behalf of the country, now admits it's facing challenges with culture and communication. While interacting with its staff, that's what they've been saying. The admission comes in the wake of increasing complaints of discrimination and harassment at the hands of the Chinese bosses from Kenyan employees. NTV's Brenda Wanga reports. The structures stand strong, stretching as far back as the eye can see, snaking through the National Park on the way to Naivasha for the completion of the second phase of the construction of the standard gauge railway. But while these structures may be sound, the publicity around its operations, at least for the first phase, paint a picture of a highly defective system. You cannot be employed and then you are divulging confidential information to the, to the, to the public. That one I don't support. Indeed, the reports, scanty as they may be due to restrictions imposed on those working in the shadows, have painted a picture of a divided workforce largely along color lines. China Road and Bridges Company, in a statement published in the Daily List today, considers there are problems stemming from cultural and communication barriers in the workforce that currently stands at 2,136 Chinese employees and 13,482 Kenyan workers. This statement finds support from the CS in charge of transport. Appearing before Parliament's committee yesterday, the Cabinet Secretary defended the Chinese company's management, especially over the discrimination and harassment complaints. People on this side are free to, dis to converse in Kiswahili. The other people on that side, they want to discuss Chinese because they don't understand this Kiswahili. That's where the issue is. It is not the issue about discrimination, about racism. It's about that cultural integration. The Chinese construction company has also faced criticism over the distribution of jobs according to skill sets, with those involved claiming that the company has been slow to transfer the more complex skills to Kenyan employees, a fact that the government says it is aware of and has begun addressing. We have told them that they have to get more and more, and more Kenyans in the HR department. Because you see, until now, I think the senior people, even HR, yes, have been Chinese, who may not be sensitive enough to the needs of the Kenyan people. The CRBC's statement comes as Parliament awaits the full report of investigations currently underway into the allegations leveled against the company. The report is expected to be out by early next week. Brenda Wanga, 